In this video, we'll go over how to implement our browse view using a Swift UI sheet and a navigation view. When completed, the browse view will display thumbnails for our 3D assets organized by category. Because of the complexity of the browse view, we'll split up the implementation over two videos. This video will focus on the code to display the browse view using a Swift UI sheet and a navigation view. A follow-up video will focus on the code to display thumbnails of our 3D assets in a grid view. Before we get started, this is the hardware and software used in this video. If you are using anything older or newer, you might have to make some adjustments to your code. Now let's get started. We have several action items for this video. First, we have to create state and binding properties for a new Boolean, which we'll call show browse. This Boolean property will determine whether to show or hide the browse view. Second, we have to update our browse button in the control button bar, so that when tapped, it presents our browse view using a Swift UI sheet. And third, we'll create our browse view using a navigation view. A navigation view allows us to have a large title and a done button. So without further ado, let's dive into the code. In our content view struct, we'll create a new state variable called show browse. It'll be a Boolean type and we'll initialize it to false. As you may recall, this Boolean state property will determine whether to show or hide the browse view. Next, we'll navigate to our control view file. In our control button bar, we'll create a new binding variable called show browse and it will also be a Boolean type. When we build a project, Xcode shows an error. The error message states, missing argument for parameter show browse in call. We'll use Xcode to help us fix the error. We now see that the control button bar constructor in our control view expects a binding property with a Boolean type. We'll create another binding variable in our control view struct. Just like in our control button bar struct, we'll call it show browse and give it a Boolean type. With this process, we are essentially linking the binding property in the control button bar to our state property in content view. Next, we'll pass along the binding as an argument to our control button bar constructor by prefixing the property name with a dollar sign. Build the project. We now see a similar error as before, but now the error has occurred in content view. Again, we'll use Xcode to help us fix the error. As we can see, our control view constructor has been updated. We can now pass in a binding to our state using prefix dollar sign and the property name. By using the dollar sign, we essentially pass in a binding to the underlying storage of the state property. Build the project. At this point, we shouldn't have any errors. For our next action item, we'll update our browse button to give it the desired functionality. When we tap on the browse button, we want it to open a Swift UI sheet. A sheet is used to present new view controllers modally over existing view controllers. Before we implement our sheet, let's add a comment for each button in the control button bar for documentation purposes. We have the most recently placed button, the browse button, and the settings button. Let's now update our browse button. In the action for our browse button, we'll toggle the show browse boolean property. Next, we'll create a sheet using the sheet modifier. This modifier takes two arguments. One, a binding property which tells the modifier to show or hide the sheet. In this case, we'll pass a binding to show browse. And two, a content closure which returns the view to be presented. Since our browse view hasn't been created yet, we'll add a comment to indicate that the browse view needs to be returned in the content closure. Before we create our browse view, let's run the app to see our intermediate progress. We see that when we tap on the browse button, an empty sheet is presented. Next, we'll work on our browse view. Let's create a new Swift file. To do so, right click on our control view file in the project navigator and select new file. Select iOS as the platform and Swift file as a template. Click next. Enter a name for the file. In this case, we'll call it browse view. Click create. Let's remove import foundation and instead import Swift UI. Next, we'll create a browse view struct and adopt the view protocol. Conform to the view protocol by creating a body variable. We can use Xcode autocomplete to help us along. Next, we'll add a navigation view so that we have a navigation bar with a title and done button. When tapped, the done button will dismiss our browse view. Inside the navigation view, we'll add a scroll view and set shows indicators to false. This scroll view will contain grid views displaying thumbnails of our 3D assets. We'll populate this scroll view in a follow-up video. Next, we'll work on our navigation bar. To add a navigation title and button, we'll use modifiers. However, in this case, the modifiers will be added to our scroll view, not the navigation view. First, we'll add a navigation bar title and pass in a text view as argument to the modifier. We'll set the text to browse. 
we will also set the display mode to large. Second, we can add our done button by using a navigation bar items modifier. We'll configure it to add items to the trailing edge of the navigation bar. We can now create a skeleton for our button. Next, we'll work on our done button action. When we tap on the done button, we want the sheet to be dismissed. This requires access to our show browse state property. We will therefore create a corresponding binding variable in browse view. In our button action, we can toggle our show browse boolean property. For our button label, we'll add text that displays done in bold. Back in our control button bar in the control view file, we can add our browse view in the sheet content closure. We'll pass in our binding property using the dollar sign. Run the app. We can now see the title and done button in the navigation bar of our browse view. When tapping on the done button, the browse view sheet is dismissed. Additionally, we can also dismiss the sheet by using the top to bottom swipe gesture. And that's it for this video. 